traditional adivasis and locals have been living in and around the Tadoba Andhari Tiger Reserve for centuries. For them, it's a way of life to live among wild animals. While the forest department has successfully relocated villagers from many core areas, there still exists some pockets of human inhabitation in these forests. For villagers, it's routine work. This young woman walks with the vessels to fill water from a nearby hand pump. Man-animal conflicts do exist, but the forest department has done a good job in managing these conflicts. Everyone seems to live a self-sufficient life. Many of these men and women are expert trackers. Tadoba has several expert women trackers. Locals also go into the forests to collect dry wood, mahua flowers and other necessities. Villagers move across shanties within the forest freely and have no fear. This large bird of prey is often sighted in Taru's forest. It's the crested serpent eagle. This eagle usually eats snakes including poisonous ones. But they also eat smaller birds. Just like every other eagle, they have a great vision. When alarmed, the crest straightens up and the head appears large and framed by the ruff. As this one looks around for possible prey, it moves its neck to almost 180 degrees. Among the birds that are truly mesmerizing is the white-throated kingfisher. The bird is very colorful. Kingfishers are expert catchers of fish and dive gracefully in the waters. Bird watchers need to be very alert to spot birds. This paradise flycatcher would be difficult to spot if it had remained still. The bird has a happy day with an insect to feast on. Paradise flycatchers have heads that are glossy black with a black crown and crest. Their bills are round and sturdy and eyes black. Females are rufous on the back with a greyish throat and underparts. It is insectivorous and hunts in flight. With a butterfly in its beak, it's all excited with the catch. These birds are fast and a treat to watch as they jump and hop. After showing off its butterfly, it eats off the body but drops off the wings. After a good meal, the bird relaxes in the branch, looking around. A 
magpie robin sits on the branch close by. For now, it has to wait for its meal. With abundance of insects around in these forests, this bird will not go hungry. The Tadoba Andhari Tiger Reserve is home to the largest bovines in the world, the Indian Gaur. Males have been known to weigh 1.5 tons and can reach up to 7 feet 2 inches at shoulder level, giving them company are cattle egrets. While uprooting of grass and its roots by the gars, insects and worms from beneath the soil are exposed, which then become easy picks for the egrets. In return, egrets clean off ticks and parasites from the gaur's skin. Due to its massive size, gaurs have no natural enemies. But tigers have known to snatch calves and kill injured gaurs. Gaurs usually move in herds of 5 to 30. This herd has adult females, some juvenile males and several calves. Their diet is largely grass and leaves, which they eat through the day. In the quietness of the forest, two juvenile gaurs size up each other. These mock acts of sizing up each other will be useful as they grow older and take on bigger bulls. These two come close for a tussle, but neither of them make first move. The slightly smaller one then retracts and gets back to grazing for now. Female gores are always alert to forest sounds and are vigilant especially when they have young ones. Calves are weaned after 7 to 12 months and a female normally gives birth to a single calf after a gestation of 275 days. Meanwhile, the juvenile males are ready for battle again. The egret stands close by as if it were a referee. The males circle around each other. One of them loses interest. The bamboo leaves are too tempting. The tranquility is disturbed by changes in the weather. Gusty winds and hushing sounds of leaves reverberate across the forest corridor. Disturbed by this, the girls scamper and head deeper into the forests. Soon, all that is left is a cloud of dust. 